Hello YouTube, welcome to Real Feels with Erica Gila. Real Feels is me being real. We're starting right here. Wah, 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 right here is where we're starting. Don't eat anything else, I don't care. Hello world and YouTube and viewers, Erica Gila here. Welcome to Real Feels with Erica Gila. I should have just said welcome to Real Feels with Erica Gila, but can we do it again? Welcome to Real Feels with Eric Gahila. I love how I'm like talking to no one, but it's supposed to look like I am, but right? Because that's how you do it. Welcome to Real Feels. Today we're going to be getting real. And what I mean by getting real is we're going to be like so real, but not like JLo real because she always sings about being real. I what? I mean like getting real to the real, real, real. I have a green screen behind me. And this can either be as my background or I can just, you know, Change my fingers by the snap of the background. <laughs> Did you catch that? <laughs> this time, we're gonna change the background by the snap of my fingers. Would you like this background? Isn't it great? We're gonna be steaming this bad girl because she's been a bad girl. She was like ratchet on stage. She was great. I'm sure she gave a great show. She gave great head, really. And I'm gonna give her her come to Jesus moment. Literally, it's gonna be come to Jesus by the time she's done with this. And I feel that by doing this, I not only get to express some of my own thoughts, but you'll get to hear more about, you know, the rawness of what it is to be me while I'm doing things that I love. I may or may not place a product in my um, video vlogs, but if I do, expect a, um, a link to the product in the description below, okay? Because that's how I roll. Welcome to my world, okay? So if I'm gonna be doing something and you wanna do it too, why not? The Eric Kahila is my name on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there. The Eric Kahila or the Eric Kahila. No, because if you say the Eric Kahila, you're gonna think like T-H-E-E. -E. But it is T-H-E-E, -E, but it's, but then it would be the Rick Kahila, but then there's no T H E E R I C K E H E L A. Yeah. And you can follow me there. We are growing our following naturally, folks. Make sure you share, follow, and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not already. I believe the button is down here. Can you just subscribe? Subscribe! Subscribe! There, perfect. Thank you. I feel like Amy Winehouse. I was like back to black, except for after the snap. There you go. Right? Isn't that better? Okay. Moving on. Isn't that great? Isn't that so much fun? I know. The power of the snap. It's like more powerful than the power of the pussy. I mean, I'm sure the power of the pussy is great. And you know, you want to pat the puss according to Erica Jane. And pat the top of the P like she's bad kitty. Bad kitty. And to the front and to the back. And that's how you pat the puss. And I know I talk too much a little bit, but hello, I'm like so not caffeinated. This is decaf. I want you to know. I think it's like placebo. It's probably a placebo effect, right? Okay, it makes you want to think that you're like not doing it at all. But you know, you live and learn, like Alanis Morissette, right? Oh God, I'm so embarrassed, so embarrassed. But I want you to know that I teased her really nicely when like I, I did her, I mean her hair. God, this is not coming out right, okay? No matter how much I want to say it, like I can't, like because, ugh. ugh. So this is like, this hair was like my impression of like a housewife who burnt the casserole but gives great head. Because like, hello, she's gonna be good for something, duh. There we go, we have this, we have her, oh gosh, I'm so embarrassed, girls. Okay, it's no lie for those of you who don't know, when I do do my transformation, I tend to not be who I am. So I tend to get a little bit on the messier side. So we're steaming her right now. And what this is doing is it's causing all of the synthetic hair to like loosen up. Apparently a fellow drag queen, she's on YouTube. Thanks to her, I learned how to do this with my wig. So shout out to you, sister. Okay, hello, how do you like, really hello? You wanna kinda like, oh, look at that. Uh, look at that, she'd be like silk, girlfriend. Well, not yet, she's a little ratty caveman, but whatever. <laughs> ratty caveman. Ratty caveman, you're the one. Oh, no, I, not cool. I, I swear she reminds me of like that Geico commercial. I swear, I told you, she's gonna have like that come to Jesus moment. This is very therapeutic. 
I have to tell you. I decided on naming my show Real Feels with Eric Gahila because I want you to feel, I want you to be involved in life, and I want you to just be in touch with your human side. I'm not like anybody else. My mentor kind of reminded me this, that I need to just be more me and not try to be cookie cutter like anybody else. And he's right. Let's imagine, hello, I'm an Aquarius. I have to like beat to the march of my drum, right? I'll work on that. <laughs> yeah. Steaming and brushing, steaming and brushing. That's all we do is steam and brush. I suppose it should be like a steam and brush song. I can write one. I still have a burned welt right there. It's like starting to scar and heal over. Ugh. We want to do it. <laughs> It's because I didn't pin her, girl. Don't even tell me. Don't even judge. Are you Judy? Are you Judge Judy? I don't think. Oh, I'm molting here. For everything else, there's MasterCard. Said like a TV commercial. Like once. On repeat, of course. And every time I do this, I feel like I mentioned Mommy Dearest when she like brushes Christina's hair. Oh gosh, she's so ratty. My baby. So ideally, the heat is supposed to work and like loosen everything up, which totally makes sense. Because all I did here was just tease it. I just teased her, I just teased her. Instead of like, you know, saying I'm under construction, I'm really just metamorphosizing is really what it is. And by metamorphosizing, I mean like I'm going through a metamorphosis. I'm coming back to like me. It's like my come to Jesus moment. I know I've been using that a lot today, but like it really has been like a moment of like awakening and revelation and you know, I think you need to really have that moment with yourself sometimes and ask yourself, am I happy? And if I'm not, how can I make myself happy? 